Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. Welcome to another Sunday training. My name is Vern, Co Vern Coles, Usawa Fitness. Just coming to you this morning, y'all. We're going to do some fun stuff. Let me get loosened up a little bit. I was doing some new things with the computer over here, and it threw me off. Got me over here robotic with my intro. It's Vern Coles, back with another shot. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> I always get a little freaked out when I first start the live stream. It's like I've been doing them for close to a year. I'm starting to get a little bit more calm when I'm doing them. But in the beginning, man, it's just like it's something nervous to me about being like, you know, going on camera. I always feel like I got to, you know, do something a little bit different. But uh, we'll get used to it as we go. Well, if you're here live, I appreciate y'all coming this Sunday morning. Uh, we're just going to be working with some uh, body band work. I'm going to show you guys some workouts that I like to use with athletes, you know, when we think about um, being able to control the body through contact and these type of things. But this is important for daily and, you know, normal athletes that are not performing uh, sports performance wise because having a strong core means more than doing uh, sit ups and crunches and that kind of thing. So I'm going to give you guys some examples of some ways that you can work your core using some bands and then i'll put this into a bigger workout this week or this week or next week to give you guys a little bit more detail on some other exercises with some more instructions um so if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe so you can check that out and as always y'all uh, if you like what i'm doing man please hit that uh like button because i'm trying to get the YouTube algorithm to recognize these live streams the same way they do my review videos. Yeah, I do review videos. If you are coming here for the review videos, I do try to do one of those at least once every one or two weeks. But I'm a trainer and I want to help people and I want to be able to use the review videos to show products that I could then go and show uh, my expertise as a trainer and hopefully help some of you people with your home gyms, backyard gyms, and garage gyms to develop some good habits at the house that you may learn from somebody at the gym if you don't have an opportunity to train with a professional. So that's what I do. So uh, just be ready for content that goes a little beyond the uh, normal uh, review videos. Thank you. Happy Sunday, Ash. Happy Sunday. Thank you for coming in. So here it is, y'all, and feel, feel free. If you're here, comment in the comments. Let me know you're here. Say what's up. So what I'm going to be using today are uh, some of these little, uh, you know, I call them body bands. These are those, these power guidance bands. And you can get these guys on, uh, on um, Amazon, and you'll get a set of four. You'll get a green one, which is the max resistance. Then you'll get the purple, the black. And there's also a red one, but I'm not using the red one today, so I didn't bring it out. I think these cost about 30 bucks. I'll, I'll put an Amazon associate link in the uh, description on these. I, I don't think I put one there, but I'll put one there so you can see what it's like. But don't trip. If you don't have these, that's not a problem. You can take your normal bands, like your uh, resistance band with straps, and you could do the same things uh, with those. It's just that these are a little easier with the circular band for some of the work that we do with the legs because the legs are so strong that the other bands, you know, they can break and they are not, they're just not built for what I'm going to be showing you completely today. So, um, June Bug. All right. That's my girl from college right there. I can't believe she on. Thank you, June. That's my girl from college. We did it good in college. She got a doctorate. She a beast. She's, uh, doing, um, She's doing uh, triathlons, and uh, that's, I love her. <laughs> I love her for real, like she my sister. And Sa oh, Sandra, man, I got another person I love. This is a great day, y'all. Thank you for coming, y'all. I'm going I'm to have fun today. This is going to be a good one, y'all. Y'all making me feel good. I'm, I got, I got a, a nice, these people I know, I don't always get to have people on here that I actually already met. And I'm really looking forward to the day when the community feels like this with, because people coming back all the time and I'm creating the relationships with people who I haven't had the chance to meet. But don't forget that I am going to be doing traveling, training, workout videos, live streams like this where I come to home gyms 
and check out your home gym, go through a session, tell you what I think you could do better with your home gym. We're starting that up real soon this fall. So that may be an opportunity for me to meet some of y'all who I never met and also, you know, take you guys through some workouts so you get to be with a trainer. I'm not like, I'm not saying I'm like some crazy, you know, special trainer, but I do have a, a skill set that I've been using for 10 years and I might be able to help you in your home gym and at least give you an opportunity to get yourself on film and, and everything like that. So, all right. So with these bands, y'all, when we talk about being able to stabilize uh, through um, contact, we, we, you know, I have an athlete that may be a basketball player. And, uh, you know, the whole time he, he playing this game, somebody checking him, right? Touching him, touching him. And that is the same in football when you have, uh, hold on a second, y'all. My dog is, you need to go in the house, man. I'm sorry, y'all. He, he got like slob coming out. Come on, y'all know Rebel, right? In case y'all never met Rebel, I don't know if y'all can see him. This is my dude down there. I'm gonna put him in the house real quick. I'm sorry, y'all. I think it's too hot for him. Come on, man, let's go. Thank you. Yeah, I think it was a little warm. I saw him sneeze and I, it didn't look right. Um, so when, you know, we talk about somebody getting hit, going up for a shot, even, you know, a volleyball player, you know, and they, they're two people making contact on the court, they need to also be able to maintain the stability. For you all that are at home, I'm going to turn this a little bit. For you all at home, think of it the same way. I like to think of it as I'm at the amusement park and I see some dude coming through and I've been waiting in the line for 45 minutes and he coming regulating, pushing his way through the, through the line. Well, when you're able to stabilize the body, lock down, you know, you're not going to pass me. And boom, you somebody hits you, be like, all right, I cut, but this is where the cutting stop. I'm just going to stand behind her. This is the type of work that will help you to stabilize the complete core, okay? It's not for show. These exercises aren't in order uh, to actually cre create um, a vanity look. It's in, they're in order to actually prep, you know, give you a nice, strong core that you can control your body with. So... What we're gonna do is we're gonna start here. Let me put that camera back just a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bear, I'm gonna step out, okay? I got a little bit of resistance. I'm sorry, I'm a, I wanna push that back just a little bit more, y'all, so I wanna be square to the camera. Uh, when you line this up, you're gonna anchor your band somewhere, and then when you step out, you want that band to be coming straight out parallel to the wall in front of you. Now. From over there, I already feel a little bit of resistance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and line my body up so that I'm centered. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a pelvic tilt back, right? So I'm gonna sit back with my chest nice and tall. I'm gonna pull the band so that my fingers are directly in the center of my chest, and then I'm gonna interlock the fingers. Make sure when you're holding the band, you're holding the band here in the palm and not in the, um, right at the hinge of the fingers because that will cause you to get a lot of stress on the on the uh, wrist all right so we're gonna hold it right here okay now once I step out I put the band right here at the center part of my body hey Max how you doing good and from here I'm gonna go ahead and interlock the fingers okay now this I'm gonna put a lot more resistance on this in a second what I want to, as soon as I do that, my, the band is going to want to pull me in the transverse plane, meaning that band wants to turn my body here in the transverse plane. But I want to make sure that I'm able to keep my body in this, the, which is the frontal plane, right? It's also going to want to pull my shoulders down. No, I don't want that happen. I want those shoulders to stay down and parallel to the floor or ceiling, and from there, I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna start turning slight shifts, okay? When I make these turns, I wanna make sure that I keep the, the knuckles aligned with my chest. Notice they're in the center of the chest and I'm turning at the hips with the abs extremely contracted. It looks very simple. It ain't, y'all. If you do these movements, you're gonna feel them in your obliques, okay? This, it's easy to go into the gym 
and throw some weights around. This is the detail work that I do with athletes, and that means clients, to create an entirely different body. Now, whew, it's harder than y'all think. Now, I did that with very little resistance. I'm gonna add some resistance. I'm gonna push this back just a little bit more. I'm gonna add some resistance by stepping out a lot further. Now, as soon as I start to step out further, that band is pulling me sideways. So what you're gonna find that some of you do, I can't really get this exactly, there we go. What we're gonna find is that as soon as we do this, the mistake that people start to make is when they turn, they gotta stay seated. One of these legs is gonna go up, all right? And once it goes up, I've changed the transverse plane. I have to stay down. But from here, I also got to make sure that I don't let, start letting this right shoulder dip in. I'm telling you guys, if you want to strengthen your core and you want to be, get a prettier abdominal complex, these movements will help you to strengthen your core so you can do more of the beauty crunches and uh, leg lifts and things like that easier and developing your core quicker. That's why sometimes you see an athlete training with the trainer, doing a few different things. You're like, man, that happened quick. It's because we, we've learned how to create little movements that you know, the body really benefit from. Now watch this. What happens, what you're gonna watch for is your hands turning. Look at my hands are no longer in the center of my body. So even though I'm doing the movement, I'm not, I'm letting my shoulders rotate. That's not the movement, y'all, okay? It's here, right? Now, I got a lot more resistance, so now my body is, I have to stabilize this inside leg, squeeze the adductors, pushing the knees in slightly, and from there, I'm gonna turn. Chest tall, shoulders down. I'll show y'all what the mistakes I see is when people start doing things like coming up, using the legs, so they've let the body disengage, or they're turning with the upper body, using the upper body opposed to the core and torso, okay? That's our first one. Does anybody have any questions? Let me know if you got questions. I'm about to show y'all another one, okay? If you got any questions, let me know. I'm checking the computer. Remember, whenever we're doing these live streams, I'll demo something, then I'll jump over onto the screen, take a look and see if we got a question, answer your question and come back into it. Hey, thanks for coming, y'all. Appreciate y'all being here this Sunday morning. All right. So, see, I'm sweating already. I'm telling you, you it may seem like it's, it's these movements are small, but like I said, anybody can go into the gym and throw weights around. But uh, true athletic performance is done with detailed work. And if you go, I, I said this last week, go look up some of your favorite athletes and, and look at the behind the scene videos, okay? You know, you're gonna see video of people throwing heavy weights around. But if you go see what they do be outside of that, it's gonna be a lot different. At some point, it don't help for it to be able to bench 800 pounds if you're an athlete. It's like, what can your body do with that 800 pounds? You see guys that are really big and they walk around and they like, you know, they like, hey, bro, you know, what's up? That, but you don't see that when you look at these football players that are these rugby players that are massive people and they still can do the little, you know, they, you get them on the dance floor, they got their nice groove on. I ain't going to try because I can't dance no more. But, you know what I'm saying? They still have the rhythm and everything of a person with, that doesn't have such large muscular bodies. All right, now we're gonna, go across, we're gonna go around the world with this next one, okay? Check this out. We're gonna step out again so that we got re we're gonna have resistance in the band. It's important that that band doesn't have slack when we start. Now on this one, we're gonna do some circles, okay? So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that band in until it's just outside the body here, okay? That's our starting position. Again, I'm going to interlock the fingers, but this time I'm going to leave the fingers out here. I'm going to start making circles. The first thing I do 
is I'm going to hinge in the hip, little posterior pelvis tilt, pushing the butt back. Imagine sitting on a small shelf behind you. From there, I want to make sure that I don't let the body cave in to the pressure of the anchor. I'm going to keep my chin straight and aligned. From there, I'm going to start drawing my circles. <sighs> Making sure that my, I'm still sitting in my sit seat. <sighs> Trying not to let the body change in this plane, right? I don't want to do this. Notice that my shoulders come forward and then back. No, both shoulders stay square. You put a, retract them by pulling them down. And then from that seated position, chest straight, chin straight. I'm going to draw my circles, okay? I'm squeezing my abs very tightly. I'm telling you right now, try some of these, y'all. You do not need the bands that I'm using right now. I will list them for you. I'm not trying to, yeah, I'm a review person. I, I, I hope y'all understand that that's not my, my passion is to be able to teach fitness. I do the review channels because, you know, I, I got gear that people can see and want to see. Uh, I'm not a salesman out here. I, it's awesome that I got that people use my links and that I get a small commission for that. But uh, I really want to be teaching training. I love training. And uh, so I, I use, I'm integrating both. Let me know if y'all got some questions, y'all. Okay? Feel free. And don't forget, if you're here, y'all, I know y'all are here. Hit the like sign, man. That's really important if you like what I'm doing. For those of you who know me, y'all just hit it, all right? You don't have to like it. Just hit it anyway. <laughs> uh, for those who you don't know me, I understand. Maybe you'll hit it. You'll come back after you know me, and you'll give me some love on another, another occasion if this isn't the right video for you. Um, all right, so that's the circle. So the key, y'all, is seated, hips square. When we're doing these circles, the first thing that's going to happen, if you got, if you got a, a mirror, you're going to see yourself extending one leg and the leg going up and down. We want to be able to stay seated, locked core, and still make those circles. You're going to feel it, y'all, deep in the abdominal complex if you're squeezing tightly. And if you're squeezing tightly, you're not going to move. So everything needs to be contracted, okay? We're just going to go through a few of these here today, all right? I'm going to show y'all. The next one I'm going to show you is going to be a uh, step out, okay? So there's two ways to step out. Some people call it like an oak tree step out and things like that. I, you know, just call it a step out. Now, again... With the, with the, and we'll, we'll, we'll show you the step out, then we'll show you a step out with transverse plane. Remember, I think I've talked to you guys about, if you've been coming here working in three planes, these are, I'm teaching y'all something on the personal training side, and every personal trainer will talk about these three planes. One, being the sagittal zone, which is when you're moving forward and backwards, okay? The other one being the frontal, that's sideways movement, okay? And then the third is the transverse plane. These are the three planes. And that's when you're rotating at the body, like, you know, golfers and baseball players, tennis and things like that. But all sports have some degree of these three planes. This next one, I'm gonna show you first that we're gonna work in the frontal plane and then we're gonna add some transverse plane movement. So if I'm in the frontal plane, which way am I moving? If you know, go ahead and type it in the comments right now. I'm about to move in the frontal plane. I'm going to give y'all a second, and I want you to type it in the comments. If you're watching this for the first time on a, on a recording, you, you know, just take a second to think about it, because what I taught you just now, I want to stick, okay? So let me see if anybody comment. I doubt it, but come on, y'all. Play along. <laughs> All right. I gave y'all time. Here it is. If I'm moving in the frontal plane, 
I'm moving sideways, okay? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock the hands here, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out to the right. I've already set my body up in that same position with my, my shoulders and, and um, hips parallel to the wall in front or the camera in your case. And now I'm going to step out, pause, step in, pause. Make sure that when you step in, you still have resistance. I would challenge any of you to come try these movements or try them at home and see how difficult they are. They look easy, y'all, but go watch a LeBron James video. Go watch a, you know, Derrick Rose recovery video. Go watch what athletes are doing. Go watch your Serena Williams. See what they doing. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right. Whew. Now, let me show y'all the step out with transverse planes. Okay, so I'm going to step out just like we just did. And then I'm going to add a small transverse movement to the work. I'm going to step out from this position. Step in. Step out. Step in. Step out. Step in. When you turn, make sure the turn comes from here, okay? It comes from here, not from up here where you turn at the shoulders, you actually turn the waist, okay? <sighs> Obviously, if I was doing these in a full workout, I would be doing both sides. You don't forget, you need to turn around and do it from the other direction, okay? I'm just trying to keep this short. So we're not going, you know, and then y'all got just sit there looking at my butt, my glutes ain't, you know, I ain't got the glutes like that yet, but I'm working on it. I got some new products coming in to review that hopefully continue to help me build out my legs and glutes, but I can't wait to show y'all. I got some real good videos coming up over the next three weeks. I'm excited to show y'all some of what I got. Okay, now, uh, thank you, thank you, Azid. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'm trying, man, or man, or lady. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, I'm trying. Just trying to get better, y'all. I'm just trying to, uh, man, I'm just trying to get better. I'm trying to, like, I just want to be good, man. I just want to be good at what I do, so I practice all the time. Um, I stay up late doing this stuff because I just want to be better and I want to be, I want people to come onto the YouTube channel and say, man, that dude is like a good guy. Um, and so I'm trying. So this next one, we're going to put the weight, make sure you don't have the weight up here on your back. You want to put the weight right in, right in the tush here. Okay. So piriformis is going to be, it's going to get a little work. Now we're going to step out. That's, this is where you're going to need the loop bands because they add so much more resistance. I might even put another one on over there. Let me make sure y'all can see me. Okay. I might put another one for this next movement. So now I got the weight, I got the band in, you know, right there in my uh, glutes, okay, wrapped around the glutes. From there, I'm gonna just start taking very controlled steps backwards. Whatever your shoe size is, is what I like to tell my clients, okay? So here I am, I, have, I start with a split stance about with one foot heel about as lined up with the toe of the, of the foot be, that it's uh, in front of. Then I'm gonna sit down, chest tall, abs contracted, and I'm gonna take tiny steps back. Stretching the band. Now, that's the easy part. We're going to go forward. Okay? Little steps, abs contracted, chest tall. Okay? Very always working in the athletic way, keeping the upper body over the hips. Okay? Meaning 
upper body's not leaning in or leaning back, okay? Nice and tall. Then forward. Very core engaging, y'all. Very core engagement. Anybody got any questions? Let me know if you got questions, y'all. I'm here to answer them for you. And I'm more than willing, okay? So you got questions, ask me here. Needed some additional core exercises until I get back here to the pool full time. There you go. I got you, bub. These will be a good place to start, okay? These are, you can use these in the pool too. Uh, yeah, these will be real good for you. I got a bunch. All right. Now, that, that right there, let me talk about it. I'm going to do a couple more here. I'm going to talk about something because I know I keep stressing this, but y'all, I don't, you shouldn't, you know, what I feel like you're going to get from me is you're going to get some, something more than information from an influencer. Okay. I'm also a professional. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to give y'all some insight into some things that you don't, you don't have to pay for it. I'm giving it to you free as a trainer. I'm giving you trainer stuff and you right here on my channel opposed to just getting a workout and being like, oh yeah, I just moved some weights. I'm trying to give you some deeper knowledge here. Here, I've, I'm drilling y'all in the head with it. I'm moving in the sagittal plane because I'm going forward and back. These three planes are, are like, the, are, some of this is fundamental to training. And I feel like a Batman. Y'all remember the old show, Batman, the first one, when they be walking up the wall, but you could tell <laughs> they had these kind of steps that they just had the camera. Ooh, I almost lost it right there, okay? Right, that band's pulling me forward. My core is what's keeping me from flying forward. I may be going out of frame there. I'm moving in the sagittal plane. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put the band on the side here, okay? Now I'm going back to that frontal plane, doing the same thing. Nice and I make sure you don't put it up here in the hip from here. Hold it. Making sure right now that it's, I'm, I think I got to move the camera a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see me out there. Let me give it a, let me move that. Woo, this is a hard one right here. Y'all gonna feel this. I, I challenge y'all to, uh, I don't care if you use the links, but I challenge y'all to get these bands and try this because I know for a fact that it'd be very helpful, okay? It'd be very helpful, y'all. That's on everything. Cape Crusaders, you already know. <laughs> You already know. Matter of fact, that used to be in me and Bug back in the day. We, we was like some Cape Crusaders. We'd be out there fishing. They used to be like, we go out fishing, y'all. True story. They, these mugs were so silly back in the day, the, the jokes that they could come back with when you were in college. But they used to be like, we was like some like disciples. And I don't mean gangsters. They'd be like, we like some Jesus disciples because we'll go fishing and we'll come back and feed the whole campus. And I ain't even playing. Like, it was so many people. Me and Bug, she go crawling across a tree to get to where we had to go because we had a secret spot. And I walk across, man, Bug was, and it was, it was scary because if you fell in, you was falling into some moving river water. But she would uh, crawl across that mug, we'd be dragging the tackle boxes, get to the other side, and we would kill the game. It'd be just me and her, man. She, <laughs> that was some fun times. And now her and her husband get it in the same way. All right, y'all, let me show y'all that movement. I don't know if y'all can see me at the end, but again, I'm sitting down. I got a nice solid base. I got the hips nice and tight. Shoulders are nice and tight, abs are contracted. Now I'm gonna start taking these little steps, okay? Controlled steps, allowing my body to feel this work. Now what's gonna happen eventually, I'm gonna show you, oh, I just got pulled back. Try not to let, let that band control you, okay? I lost control. 
I could disengage my, my core for a second and the band took over and it won. But what we'll see from my athletes is they'll, they'll start leaning, right? Trying to use the body um, and, and almost like a counterweight instead of letting the core do the movement for them. Burning up this hip right here, y'all. Okay? Burning it up. Whoo! Yeah. Yeah. It's good work right there. That's good work right there. So this, y'all, these are just like a few simple core techniques that you can use your body bands for. And, you know, like I said, I challenge y'all, check it out. See what it feel like. Grab you some because, I'm going to move this again. Uh, because this stuff, this way I can look at the camera here or look at the computer. Um, these movements are different. It's easy to jump into the gym and start lifting weights where you don't actually use your complete body. Especially the machines, y'all. Sitting on the machine and doing the weight that I really try not to do that at all anymore just because once you sit into a piece that's designed to work out a specific body part I think that's more like for people that just want to build out one muscle or they want to uh, build out bodybuilders but when you want to try to become a complete athlete I would stick to uh, compound exercises and then a lot of accessory work like I'm showing you these last few weeks so that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. I didn't mean for this to be like a crazy long workout day and um, where, you know, we went further than we needed to go. I'm going to do another video where I actually break all of these down with the client so I can walk you guys through the movements and the, um, you know, the, the uh, mistakes and also the appraisal uh, positions that I see in a client and I'm able to say, that's dope what you're doing or right there, you need to fix something. Don't forget, y'all, if, uh, you know, don't, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button um, and, uh, you know, also the bell. A lot of y'all, if you could do me a favor and look and see if you've already hit the bell so that you get an alert when I post a video. I'm really trying to grow this channel out, y'all. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm begging because it means a lot to the YouTube algorithm when you guys are watching my videos and you commenting and you are hitting the like button and um, it don't cost you anything but like a little quick dash of a button if you like what I'm doing. I'm not asking you to do it if you don't like it. But I, if you are liking it, y'all, it's just, I, I can't tell you how important it is. It's like, you know, that you, you, you give a little bit of a comment to, or, a, or a like button punch or subscribe if you're not subscribed because uh, it just helped the channel a lot. And I'm not, you know, I, I, it's all I could ask. I'm just asking because that's the only way I could get this done. Um, but thank you for coming, y'all. I appreciate y'all coming. I hope to see you again next weekend. I got a lot of great content coming for you this week. Love and peace, everybody. Out.